Welcome to Sri Yoga's mini practice in honor of the summer solstice. As the sun moves toward its zenith and approaches the fullest expression of its light, we will harness the solar power to strengthen our core. In this series of postures focusing on the abdominal muscles, remember that you are not only creating a stronger physical core, you're also cultivating qualities associated with the fire element, willpower, determination, and confidence. To begin, come onto your hands and knees. Place your hands shoulder distance apart and bring your wrist creases parallel to the short edge of your mat. Fan out your fingers evenly. Bring your attention to your breath. Imagine a small sun at your solar plexus in the center of your body just below your sternum. As you inhale, breathe into this sun in the center of your chest, stoking the flames of your inner fire. As you exhale, allow its rays to radiate outward to your whole body. Walk your knees back a few inches away from your hands. Press down into your hands and with your exhalation, lift your hips up and back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Press down evenly into the knuckles at the base of your fingers and the base of your thumb. Lift your arm bones away from the ground and isometrically squeeze your arms toward the midline. Keeping the base of the forearms lifting away from the mat, inhale and bring your shoulders over your wrists into plank pose. Lift the low belly into the spine and direct the tailbone toward your heels. Exhale and lift the hips up and back into down dog. Repeat several more times like this. Or to increase the intensity, lift your right leg up in down dog. And with your inhalation, draw your knee toward your chest as you come forward into plank pose. Exhale and extend the leg back as you stretch back. Inhale, come forward into plank, drawing the knee into the chest. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale, come forward into plank, knee to chest. Exhale, stretch back. And lower your right leg down, and we'll go to the other side. Lift your left leg up, and with your inhalation, inhale, come forward into plank, draw your knee to your chest. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale, plank. Knee to chest, exhale, stretch back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, stretch back. And place your left leg down onto the floor and come back into downward facing dog. From dog pose, bend your knees down to the mat and lie on your stomach in preparation for forearm plank. Come up on your elbows and place your elbows shoulder distance apart, interlacing your fingers. Draw the low belly in and engage the buttock muscles to take the tailbone in. Keeping that, take your toes under, press into your forearms, inhale and lift up until your hips are in line with your shoulders. Breathe. Keep your elbows shoulder distance apart and the upper arms over the elbows. Continue to lift the low belly to the spine and reach the tailbone toward your heels. Press your heels away from you and look forward. Breathe into the sun in the center of your chest and allow the internal fire to move through the body with your exhalation. With your next exhalation, lower back down to the floor. In preparation for a forearm version of Vashisthasana or side plank, turn to your left side and stack your legs. Come up onto your left elbow with your forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat. Take a moment to line up your heels, hips, and elbow. Flex your feet and tuck the baby toe side of the foot well under to act as a shelf on which you will press. Hugging your low belly in, and drawing the tailbone down, squeeze your legs together, inhale, and lift your hips up. An easier option is to do this with bent knees. 
Either have your top hand in front of you for support, place it on your hip, or lift it straight up from your shoulder. Stay and breathe. Breathe into that sun in the center of your chest. Exhale and spread its rays through your whole body. Squeeze your legs together, lift your hips up, and lift out of your left shoulder. Exhale and return to your side. Roll over and we'll repeat on the second side. Place your forearm parallel to the short edge of your mat. Take a moment to line up your heels, hips, and elbow. Flex your feet and tuck the baby toe side of your bottom foot well under. Hugging your low belly in and drawing the tailbone down, squeeze your legs together, inhale, and lift your hips up. Either have the hand in front of you for support, place it on your hip, or lift it straight up from the shoulder. Stay and breathe. Keep squeezing your legs together and lift up away from your bottom shoulder. With your next exhalation, return down to your side. Come to sitting with your legs out in front of you for Navasana or boat pose. Bend your knees, reach around your legs and hold your upper inner thighs with your hands. Pull the inner thighs apart and come forward onto your sitting bones. Lift your chest up. Lean back the minimal amount necessary, walk your toes in and lift your shins up parallel to the floor. Activate your feet and press out through the big toe mounds. Press your thighs against your hands and lift your chest up. Stay here for the first one, or slowly extend your legs straight, lifting the toes up to the height of your eyes. Exhale, bend your knees, and return your feet to the floor. Pause. In the repetitions, feel free to repeat this version or add the following variations. As you lift up and balance, Release your hands and stretch your arms straight beside your legs. Stay with either the knees bent or the legs straight. Exhale and return your feet to the floor. For the final version, come into Navasana with the legs and the arms straight. Either stay here or lift your arms along the sides of your ears to increase the intensity. Breathe into the sun inside and spread the solar power throughout your body on your exhalation. Take another breath in, exhale and release. Now, lie down on your back for the final two abdominal exercises. For Ardha Navasana, interlace your hands behind your head. Bend your knees and draw your knees into your chest. Lift your head and chest up curling up with the intention of lifting the bottom tips of the shoulder blades off the ground. Keeping the head and shoulders lifted from the work in your abdominal muscles, extend both legs straight up into the air. For the beginning version, keep the left leg straight, exhale, and slowly lower your right leg as much as possible while keeping the lower back on the ground. Inhale, bring the leg back up. Exhale, lower your left leg down. Keeping the lower back on the ground. Inhale, back up. Continue like this four more times per side. Relax your neck, throat, and your shoulders. Make your head heavy in your hands. Keep your lower back moving down to the floor. And keep your legs and your feet active. When you've completed, lower your head and shoulders down, bend your knees, and place your feet back on the ground. For the second round, change the interlacing of the fingers behind your head. Curl your head and chest up and bring your knees in. To increase the intensity this time, draw the low belly in and keeping the lower back in contact with the ground, squeeze your legs together and extend the legs straight 45 to 30 degrees from the floor. Breathe. 
Stay for several breaths. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Reach through your legs. Bend the knees in. Lower the head, chest, and feet back down to the floor. Our final pose is Jatara Parivartanasana. Staying on your back, stretch your arms out to the sides at shoulder height with the palms up. Bend your knees into your chest. Squeeze the knees together and press the left shoulder down. Exhale and take the knees toward your right elbow. Hover the knees over the ground. Inhale, come back up. Exhale over to the other side, keeping the right shoulder down. Inhale, back up. Continue like this. Or, if you're able to keep the opposite shoulder down, straighten your legs. And keeping the legs straight, aim the toes toward the fingertips. Exhale to come into the pose. Inhale to come out. Repeat like this for a total of five times per side. Exhale over. Squeeze your legs together, reach through your legs. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale up. Bend your knees and place your feet on the ground. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Open your knees to the sides and join the soles of your feet together. Stretch your arms out overhead for a version of Supta Baddha Konasana. Allow the breath to release in your lower belly. And take a few breaths to rest. For more leg stretches, hip and lower back opening, you can continue with our mini practice for the holidays. When you are ready to come out, lift your knees up, roll to your right side, and press yourself up to sitting. Enjoy the warmth of the inner fire you've created with this core strengthening practice. Thank you for joining us.